So this is the 1963 Gibson Hummingbird, rare maple back and sides. It's kind of a theme today, Riggs. <laughs> We've got two vintage Gibsons, which don't normally come with maple back and sides. Um, these typically come with mahogany back and sides, starting in late 1960 when the model came out. Um, then by about 1963, they had the Dove come out in 62, um, and it seems like they had more orders for hummingbirds than they had for doves. So maybe they already had these back and sides roughed out and they made them into hummingbirds instead of doves. So that's why a lot of people will call these like humming doves if they have the maple back and sides, since most of those hummingbirds came with mahogany. Um, so yeah, that was one reason I was drawn to this example. It was also just really clean, nicely preserved, great guitar. The only thing it needed when it came in is many of these in the early 1960s, while they do have the desirable wide neck, they also a lot of times will have a plastic bridge. It was just an experiment by Gibson to maybe speed the production process, but the problem is they warp and they don't have any stability in the top where you really need it, where the, uh, where the strings anchor to the top. So I did ask my luthier Jason Burns to make us a Brazilian rosewood um, reproduction bridge and he just did a spectacular job. It's really tough to tell. He got every contour nailed exactly because we had another kind of mid-60s Gibson in the, shop, in the shop that he could kind of benchmark this bridge off of. So 100% um, solid, spectacular example. I took a picture of the underside of the top, wanted to show you everything inside of there. The underside of the top is one of the most important parts about an acoustic guitar. It's kind of like the motor, you know, in a car because um, you know, for, for every glue joint in there to be holding tightly is how the manufacturer intended it to play so that the vibrations can run through the top this way, but the top will also be rigid enough this way to, um, to allow it to kind of vibrate enough but stay in place and not have the string tension folded up. So yeah, this one is exactly the way we want them to look like, exactly the way the manufacturer intended it. Uh, did not need any braces re-glued. Uh, we did re-glue the bridge plate there. Um, so you can see uh, everything's in nice shape. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice example. Uh, actually kind of hard to let go of guitars like this because they're just hard to get. Um, they only made so many, uh, especially with the maple back and sides. So anyway, I called in my friend Riggs to play it for us. Show us how it sounds.
So that's the 1963 Gibson Hummingbird with the rare maple back and sides. Thanks so much, Riggs, for playing it for us. My name is John. My shop's called True Vintage Guitar. I'm here in Birmingham, Alabama. And if you're not close by, you can find me at truevintageguitar.com. All the guitars are listed there. My contact information is there if you want to ask any questions about this one. Thanks for watching.